Hello, hello everyone, it's Stray Faye here with my new Let's Play of Harvest Moon Grand Bazaar for the DS. Coming in well into the DS's lifespan after DS, DS Cute, Island of Happiness, and Sunshine Island. Uh, Grand Bazaar brings in a, brush, a breath of fresh air uh, with some new features while some other features might feel like a, a bit of a stale wind. Um. So yeah, this game mostly focuses around their bazaar, where we sell our farm goods and other things that we can manufacture in the various windmills of the game. Um, so otherwise, it's a pretty small game. It's, it's a pretty small, like, contained game within the town. Um, if you really want to do the cheesiest of cheesy strats, you could beat this in around six hours. Uh, but we are going to be greatly slowed down because we're going to be trying to do all the collectibles, like collecting all the bugs and all the fish, all the stuff that carried over in Tale of Two Towns. All, all those, all those bugs and fish that we have to collect. Yeah, they they originated from this game, um, and of course the Wooin. There, there will be the Wooin of the Bachelors uh, and Bachelorettes. Uh, although, the Bachelorettes might be for my other file. Alright, so let's start. Let's do a new game. I already have a save file, because <laughs> I've been preparing this months in advance. Um, I wanted to record some of the, the cutscenes for the, for the Bachelorette, so I did the boy file. Um, because some of those cutscenes are looking a little crunchy. Um, <laughs> They're like 10, 15 years old. Ouch. Game's that old. We're getting old. Um, so we're going to play file two. A fresh file. Let's begin our grand adventure. Select your character. We're gonna play as a female so we get to woo. We get to woo the bachelors. There she is. You selected the female. Okay, she looks cute. Everyone has a funny hat in this game. <laughs> So, get used to it. Alright, far away from the city lies a small town known for its gentle, soft wind. The sound of windmills greets the citizens of the town each morning. There they are, the windmills. Using the power of the wind. And this is the world we get to live in. Ah, oh, we're finally here! This is your new home, Zephyr Town! Sorry, what was your name again? Alright, going to do the normal naming conventions. They only give us six. <laughs> they only give us six. Letters that we could use. If we were playing Japanese, like, in, in the Japanese game, obviously your characters are, like, syllables long, but I'm gonna go with what I usually pick. Hold on. Uh, luckily you can use, like, the D-pad to navigate the keyboard. <laughs> they're, like, they're kind of straying away from, like, the touchpad. <laughs> the touchpad gimmick, you don't, you don't have to use a stylus or anything if, if you don't want to. It's there if you want it, though. Milan, you say? Yes! What a fine name! Now then, when were you born? Alright, pick a birthday. Any birthday will do. Um, I don't know if festivals might affect this. Uh, I will pick what I usually pick, though. Although I think... I think the birthday I usually pick does share share a birthday with another character in this game. Well, it might be interesting if we did marry him. If Some Harvest Moon games, they take note of that and they give you like a special birthday where you, where you, where you both celebrate celebrate your birthday on the same day. It's not really important unless, unless you like 
marry the person, though. Because otherwise, you don't celebrate your birthday in these games. And people don't give you gifts otherwise. Alright, we'll do fall 20. So your birthday is fall 20. Yes. Ah, so the town is quite the sight. <laughs> the town is quite the sight at that time of year. At the fall leaves. Oh, my name is Felix, by the way. I'm the mayor of this humble town. He's, bit... <laughs> He's very buff. Very buff man. I'm glad to see young folks like you starting to get involved in farming. It's great to have you here, Milan. Take a look, Milan. This is the entrance to the town, as well as our site of our bazaar. Once a week, the citizens in town set it up to attract visitors. Many things are sold, and the customers always leave happy. All these storefronts. Lots of stuff to buy. This is a unique feature, and also kind of annoying, because... <laughs> Yeah, instead of, like, the ease of shipping stuff, um, or having access to a store for most of the week, uh, you're, like, kinda... You're kinda restricted to, like, the one-day-a-week bazaar. You can still sell stuff outside of the bazaar, you just don't get as much money. Uh, yes, unfortunately, your face says it all, Milan. The bazaar used to be a much grander event. Our once world-famous bazaar has now just become a small market. Things continue like this. The bazaar might even close for good soon. But as the mayor, I can't stand idly by and watch this happen. I must do something. All right, Milan, I'd like you to open a store at our, at our bazaar. All right, it's all it's all up to us now. We have to save the town. Save the bazaar. You can sell products from your farm, and the better your products, the more you'll be able to sell. You'll learn fame as a great farmer, and you'll be helping the town. Isn't that a great idea? You'll help us out, right, Milan? Uh, <laughs> eh. <laughs> eh. I think if I say it, what if I say no? Sounds boring. <gasps> you won't. Please, we're in dire need of help. All right, the game's just gonna do this until I say yes. Of course, I'll help. <laughs> Fantastic! I knew you'd say yes! I, I love the voices, like, all the all the characters kind of have little laughs and voices and hoots and hollers. Uh, it, it does give a little bit of personality to, to all the characters. Remember, everyone in town is counting on you to help us, Milan. Now then, let me show you where you'll, where you'll be staying. Alright, gotta save this town with my unhinged methods of making money. Here's a little farmhouse. Got a little field there. We can't we can't expand it. There are not too many farm expansions. Um In fact most of the things are like unlocked from the get-go. <laughs> Here it is, your farm. First you should choose a name for it. Pick any name you like. All right. Well, I got the Milan name. Usually my male character is named Talon. I'm gonna go with Lon Lon Farm. Lon Lon Farm, you sure? Yeah. That's a great name. Fitting for such a fine farm. First, why don't you try moving around your farm? Just use the control pad and use the L button to switch between walking and running. Press the A button to jump, and press it again when you're in the air to double jump. Oh boy! <laughs> What's better than jumping? Double jumping! When you're done exploring, press the B button while standing next to me. This is, this is what always throws me off. Use B to talk to people and like interact with items. It's like, I'm so used to A, so it's like, this game had to like switch my brain to like using B. Those are the basics, you got it? Got it. Don't, please don't explain again. Great, I'll be waiting in front of your house. Alright, we can move around or start off walking. Press L to run. You can look in like various areas. Yeah. We also have the jump button. Jump once, and then tap it again and jump twice. And use this to get over a lot of gaps. You also need to use this 
jump mechanic to grab some bugs that fly midair. Oh, here's an item here, although they'll probably teach us how to grab that in a bit. Here's our big old pasture here. Don't need to plant any any grass. Uh, if you have animals, they'll just graze here out on their own. And we get a nice view. Also mildly terrifying. <laughs> uh, it's a nice little bench to sit here. But yeah, the thought of like having animals graze so close to the precipice. Uh, yeah, it's mildly terrifying. Although most most prey animals would probably have would probably be very wary of a cliff, but I mean, I've seen like terrible videos of just like baby lambs following the, like their mom over a cliff. Like, you're like, oh my god. Uh, but yeah, this is their pasture. No, no animals will fall here. They won't succumb to gravity. And that's pretty much it. We will get to go inside our house in a bit. Uh, and our farm will expand more uh, to the left here. Like, we start off with one field that like has, I think, like 54 spaces. Um, you pretty much replicate this field like twice. So you'll get like another one with an another 54 spaces and then a third field with yeah. another 54 spaces. <laughs> you have lots of corrupts. Great, you were able to talk to me. By the way, did you notice the B button icon that was floating above me? That icon indicates people you can talk to and things you can examine. Also, did you notice the branch that was on the ground? Go near the branch and you should see a B button icon above it this time. When you see the icon, press the B button. Go ahead and try it. Alright. <laughs> Good job, that, <laughs> that's how you pick up items. Now if you were to press the B button again, you would throw the branch. But if you press the Y button, you'll put it in your bag. Try it out, put the branch in your bag and then talk to me when you're done. No, I wanna throw it. No, don't push the B button, you'll throw it. Put the branch in your bag right now, press the Y button. All right, sir, stop, you're scaring me. Talk to me after that. Okay, in my bag. Ah, oh, I see you put the branch in your bag. To check your bag, press the X button. Here, look at the touch screen below. I right, finally get, get used to the bottom screen. You can do many things while checking your bag. The control pad moves the cursor and the A button selects. If you select toss, you'll lose the item permanently. Careful now. Well, toss, toss is still pretty good though if you need to delete some like spoiled items. Yes, there is a freshness system in this game. They didn't get rid of that one yet. Uh, they did get rid of some other features though, like the weather system, but now we, st we, still got, we still got freshness in this game. Press the B button to close your bag. Go ahead and do that now. Alright, well we can do all sorts of things like hold it over our head. I also have a slot for equipment, us uh, obviously our tools like watering can, um, or hoe. Although we have like a quick, a quick way to equip that than going into our menu. And then we have charms, which won't really be a thing until like year four, <laughs> I think. Um, they aren't that amazing, like an island of happiness, like where you could stack like three friendship charms and just like cheese, cheese friendship. Uh, they're more like minor increases, like a friendship, or you could use it to increase wind power for like the next day. Uh, useful but very minor. Alright, let's get out of here. That's the basic about how to use your bag. Now let's take a look around your house. God, giving giving Felix the raspy voice is not not good for my throat, especially since I'm recovering. Ugh, regrets. This is your house, Milan. Let me show you your storage room now. Come, follow me. Yes, a very important storage room. And also we have a basket. I forgot about that basket. I like never use the basket. This is the storage room. Take a look inside. All right, and it's not really a room. It's more like a menu. Use the storage room to hold items when your bag is full. Fruits, milk, and other perishable items will last longer in the storage area as well. Uh, and you can also upgrade the capabilities of it retaining freshness. Uh, Later on, we'll get some bazaar upgrades, and then like new people will come join in the bazaar, and then uh, we'll actually get our good old friend Ganon back, and he'll be able to upgrade our 
our storage uh, freshness rate. Although it can never permanently, permanently retain freshness, which I find really weird because I mean, an island of happiness, they had the fridge, the mystic fridge. And then Tale of Two Towns, you have the Mega Chicken that would, like, retain freshness forever. It's like, they just forgot about that this game. <laughs> Alright. The control pad moves the cursor and the A button selects, just like your bag. If you want to leave storage, just press the B button. Go ahead and try it. Alright, I can put branch into here, or I can take out stone. I can... I'll just put both in here. Uh, can... I can't really just do, do much with the rock and the branch. Then you do get a hammer and an axe to break these up into stone and lumber. Actually not, there's actually not too many reasons to use stone and lumber. Uh, it's not like you, you don't need to build fences. Uh, there's no building upgrades that require like 500 billion lumber. Um, but there are some manufacturing things that like require lumber or material stone, like upgrading your fishing pole or something, or or your watering can. So, yeah, you still will need to collect some stones and branches, but it's not it's not excessive. <laughs> Otherwise, we might just toss them or sell them for pennies. And that's about everything you need to know. Ah, there's one other thing that I'd like to show you. Might be it. Oh wait, the basket. This basket here is very useful. I like never use the basket. <laughs> you can't really take it anywhere. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a, a, a basketball hoop where you toss stuff and it goes to your storage. Um, and then I, I notoriously just miss the hoop. So <laughs> I just, I just go into the menu and put stuff manually. Anything you put in here is automatically sent to your storage. Convenient, no? Just toss an item to the basket and it'll be sent to storage. It's that simple. You can carry it around, but... I mean, usually it just warps back in front of your house. But if your storage is full, you can't add items. You can also pick the basket up and move it, so, be sh so it's sure to be useful. I, I will forget that it exists. Well, I'm sure you're pretty tired by now. Just stand next to your bed and press the B button when you want to go to sleep. If you'd like, check out the bookshelf or the kitchen before you go to bed. Also, your calendar shows what you and festivals will be taking place. Take a look. Well, I'll be on my way then. Good night, Milan. Alright, thank you. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> my voice. Regrets. Alright, take a look around the house. Uh, because you won't let me leave. This little time's not flowing, so... Uh, so yeah, we got our storage room here. There's also another door to the storage room up there. We got some boarded up... Boarded up... Something down there. Kind of creepy. This is supposed to be the basement, which is even more creepy. Considering that, like, there's so many gaps and it's just, like, dark down there. It just... Just seems like, like, what if it's a monster down there? <laughs> just peeking through the gaps of the floorboards. Uh, let's see, this is a vase. You can fill it with any flowers you have. However, the flowers will wilt after a few days, so you'll need to replace them. I probably won't. I don't have flowers, so no. It adds a little bit of charm. We have some useful... Finally, finally have the bathroom unlocked at the beginning of the game. There's so many Harvest Moon games where the bathroom is just like a luxury item that you can only possibly afford <laughs> at the end of the game where like at that point you're like well I don't really need it but it costs you a bunch to build it and you just build it to for completion but no like they actually give it to you at the beginning where like hey the, the stamina the stamina recovery is actually needed at that point uh, so let's take a look at the calendar. This is the calendar. Each year is made up of four seasons. Use it to find out when there are special events or when someone's birthday is. You can also check when the bazaar is being held. Let's view the calendar. Uh, okay, so yeah, here's our special events. Bazaars are typically on a Saturday. However, in some cases, like Spring 14 Harmony Day, um, when there happens to be a festival or a birthday that lands up on a Saturday, um, the bazaar gets pushed to a Sunday. Uh, there are some cases, very unfortunate cases, where, um, you have, like, back-to-back -back festival, like, cooking festival, which 
this year the cooking festival lands on a Saturday and Sunday in the fall. Uh, which means there'll be no bazaar that week because bazaars can only be on Saturday or Sunday. They, they won't push it to Friday or Monday. It'll, it'll only land on the weekend. So yeah, that'll be an, an unfortunate week where we won't be able to sell anything. Uh, it's our birthday. Yeah, our birthday. It actually gets shared with Ivan's birthday. It's kind of ironic. That's why. That's my boyfriend's name. Um. Da -da -da. All right. So yeah, that's our calendar. There. There's probably not going to be any reason why I'm going to do the festivals the first year. We have a festival coming up next to the Flower Festival. Um, this is a unique festival in that it actually spans like a few days. Um, you have to gather up as many flowers as you can, give them to people like within the festival time limit. Um, so like Sunday after 12 when they announce it to spring 12 when they announce the results. You have like that many days to like hand flowers to people every day and to just kind of rack up points uh, and be declared the winner. Although your reward is mostly just friendship. <laughs> so I don't think I'll do it my first year because my first year I'm gonna be a money monger. I'm, I'm just gonna focus on gathering resources and I'm gonna save like the actual friendship grind for later on in the game when we actually have like the resources to like buy stacks of items and and just be more efficient that way. Uh, Harmony Day though will be nice. We'll get some cookies. I think we get cookies even if we have black hearts with everyone. They won't be chocolate cookies, but I think it'll just be regular cookies. We'll probably just sell the cookies. Um, there is one festival I do want to try out, which is the Cow Festival. Although this is going to be very dependent on RNG, I need to get a very expensive item that will give me 8,000 gold, and I'll be able to afford that cow. Um, we can win the Cow Festival if our cow, even if our cow is low friendship. It's very low, but it's still possible, and I want to try it, even if I have to scum. Alrighty, that's this calendar. Right, we have the kitchen here. You can look at the kitchen. This is the kitchen. Use it for when you want to cook. Cook without a recipe allows you to freely choose the ingredients to cook with. So luckily they let you free cook in this game. If you have a guide, you know what the ingredients are. If you have the proper utensils, uh, there is a pot, a frying pan, and a seasoning set. Uh, that we can use to create recipes. There's still a handful of recipes though that require no utensils. Uh, but yeah, as long as you have the proper utensils on hand and the proper ingredients, you can create whatever. Um, you can also buy food though from the stores. There's a lot of food to buy. There's a lot of food stalls at the bazaar. And you can also unlock recipes that way. That'll probably be like the majority, the majority of our uh, the majority of how we're gonna unlock the cooking recipes and then we'll just for the few the few items that are cooking only uh, we'll have to grow stuff oh no we're gonna have to farm um however it might not turn out well if the mix is bad cook for mess it automatically picks the ingredients for you so you don't you don't mess up on accident when a dish is successful you can write down the recipe however you can customize it by adding more ingredients to the original recipe probably like recovers more stamina and might make it easier to win the cooking festival. Although the cooking festival seems a little bit different. Like it doesn't really take note of how much stamina the dish recovers or like how many stars you have. If you have a five star dish, even if it's like a really basic five star dish, uh, you tend to win. So we're probably not gonna do any customizations to our recipes. If the customization is successful, you can revise the recipe. You can also get recipes by buying dishes from the cafe in town. Alright, and we have one recipe unlocked, which, yeah, turnip salad. We will use this to, uh, you can actually use this, like, at the beginning. It's pretty, pretty useful. Uh, since one of the beginning crops is turnips, uh, you can turn your turnips into turnip salad, which actually increases the star rank, like, a little bit, and it's also worth more money. So we're gonna we're gonna try to eke out a little bit more profits that way. There's also some other like one ingredient recipes um, that I will utilize to just kind of flip flip more money. Like I'll, I'll buy like a bunch of stuff from the bazaar, cook it, and then like sell it to the bazaar next week. 
and just gain a little bit of profit that way. We also have another entrance to the storage shed by the kitchen. It's kind of kind of neat to think that the storage room is like an actual room though, <laughs> like a big room. I mean, I guess like if you're living out in the boonies, you would need a big storage room for like firewood and food if you wanted to survive. Here's a bookshelf. I am actually gonna save first. Um, I don't know. This happened to me once. I looked at the bookshelf. <laughs> And it like soft locked my game. I was like, I couldn't get out. I had to, that to restart, and I don't want to do the tutorial again. So let me like go to bed first, and then save, and then we'll look at the bookshelf. Uh, yeah, that's actually that's, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think it'll let us go outside from the. Yeah, this is our barn. We we have a we have a barn door right next to our house. Uh, I can imagine that might get kind of stinky though, all the all the cow smells just wafting in from the other room. Uh, I guess if you're living out in uh, the boonies though, you might you might use your animals for a source of warmth. In some areas, they they burn cow poop for warmth as well. Uh, all right, so let's save and go to bed. We typically won't save during the LP just because I will need to check the video for corruption and then we'll save. But yeah, we'll save at the beginning. That's how the save screen looks. Takes a while. Good morning, Milan. Hi. Who dare? Is that my friend Felix, I think? Yes. The only person I know. Did you sleep well? I brought a present for you. I hope you like it. What is it? It's my farming tools. Yay. I don't have to wait till like spring day 8. So, oh, you need it to farm. Or four, you can use it though. You'll need to equip it. Just open your bag, then move the hoe to your equip slot. However, there is an easier way. I like how he yells everything. <laughs> He's a much, a much different mayor than all the like the quiet, subdued, like chubby mayors. They're like, you know what? Let's just make this mayor the opposite. Let's make him, let's make him swole and roid ragey. Press the R button to see all the equipable items you currently have. Select the item you want to equip, then press the A button. Go ahead and try it. Talk to me when you're done. Alright, so R button is quick equip. So you can just equip your hoe there, talk to, fuck, talk to him. I did it. Great, you're able to equip it. When you want to use it, press the B button. Now, Milan, do you know how to grow crops? I do, but I'm gonna pretend I don't. No? Well, I'll be glad to teach you then. Follow me. Field. Here's your field. You can grow lots of things here. First, you need to use your hoe to till the land. Let's start with this area right here. Equip your hoe and then press the B button. Go ahead and try it. Hey. Eat. <laughs> yes, that's the way. Nice job. Now why don't you sow some seeds while you, you've tilled the ground? You'll want to till your seeds as soon as possible. Uh, it kind of sucks, like, if you till the ground ahead of time and go to bed, the squares become untilled, which becomes a, a problem in stamina management. Um, these are turnip seeds, a classic spring crop. You can sow seeds into the, til into the tilled soil. First equip the seeds, then press the B button when you've tilled the ground. Alright, let's equip my turnip seeds. You've sowed the seeds, good job! Now you'll need to water them. Here, take this. It's a watering can, but you need to fill it up first. <coughs> oh god, Felix, go <laughs> stop yelling. Use it near a water source to fill it up. Here, use this one over here. There's our water trough. Fill your watering can, then water the seeds. Equip your watering can, then press the B button next to the water to fill it up. Then, to water the seeds, press the B button while standing next to them. Alright, well, not, not that one. Not, th not that one either. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> press all the wrong ones. <laughs> Alright, fill it up. Yeah. Your watering can is refilled. You actually get a little stamina boost too for like filling up your watering can like the first thing during the day. Yes, just like that. Good job. Water your crops once a day. Obviously, you don't need to water them on rainy days. Yeah, 
happen. There's no like sun point or water point system. I, I mean, you need to water stuff every day or else it won't get to the next stage. I think you can water stuff twice a day for it to like mature faster. Kind of like Tale of Two Towns. Like the, the game that I like most familiar with. <laughs> I like, I could, I could, I, I will probably compare this game to Tale of Two Towns, even though Tale of Two Towns came out after this game. If you water them every day, they'll sprout into leaves. But if you forget, if you forget, even for a single day, your crops will dry out. And if you continue to neglect your crops, they'll eventually die, so be careful. Use a sickle to clear dead crops. You can plant new seeds then. When watered properly, this turnip will grow like this. Now you can harvest it. To harvest a crop, just stand near it and press the B button. This is- it's best to water your crops early in the morning. That way, by evening, your crops will be dry again. You can water the crops a second time and they'll grow even faster. Also, once your crops start growing, don't walk or run over them. Yes, this is the new- the new feature. No running! <laughs> Uh, you can still run over them while they're seeds, but yeah, once the leaves start popping up, if you run or jump on top of a crop, um, they'll take, like, damage. Although, the damage is usually, like, a low, like, a lowering of star rank. If you're already at the lowest star rank, then you probably don't even need to worry about it, but... Stepping on your crops will damage them, lowering their quality. You can tell the quality of your crops by the amount of yellow stars they have. You, you wouldn't want to lower the quality if you've been pouring fertilizer over them. That would be a wasted effort. To improve the quality of your crops, use fertilizer on them. To use fertilizer, equip it, then press the B button when you're near a crop. Spare it on your crops while they're growing to raise their quality. Here, let me give you some fertilizer. Use it well. We probably won't use- we probably won't upgrade our crops until we- until we get the windmill that Let's us make seeds, the grinding windmill. Uh, otherwise, yeah, like the most efficient way is to like put fertilizer on the crop and then and then get the higher rank seeds so you don't Yeah, it's just not wasting money for nothing. And that's all you need to know about how to grow crops. Oh one more thing. Do you see that gauge on the upper left corner? Damn. That gauge tells you how much stamina you have left. When you use a tool, you, it reduces your stamina. You'll faint if it becomes empty. But if you eat or do something special, you'll recover some stamina. Be careful, though. If you faint, you won't be able to work anymore that day. Anyway, I'll stop by again for the next bazaar. Try growing different crops and explore the town a bit. If you run out of seeds, you can buy more from the store in town. Also, talk with the people in town. Don't worry, everybody's nice here. Well, I'll be on my way then. See you later, Milan. Alright, thanks, Felix. Thanks so while I'm at it, uh, they still give us the five extra turnip seeds from the tutorial, so I will cut these. Gosh, I do up and down? Yeah, it's fine. We don't have to agonize over it too much. I <laughs> like the little, uh, little sound effects. <laughs> That the little girl makes. Uh, the guy is funny too, though. I think, like, one of his, like, power up moves. He goes, like, Toriya! It's the spin. Alright, watering can be filled. I probably didn't even need to do that. Uh, alright, so we should be about ready to explore. I will look at this bookshelf, like, after we save it again. Probably next episode. <laughs> it's mostly just our lists. Um, it also shows, like, affection, like, how many hearts people have. Ooh, a butterfly. Let's grab that. Caught Swallowtail. It's your first time you've caught this insect. Keep it in a cage. Yes. You can collect bugs. I will... Collect bugs at the beginning. They aren't worth that much money, but when we're poor, anything's good. Uh, and yeah, we will... Actually, mark this off our list because we have checklists. I want to get all all the bugs. So this season, during during spring, we can catch mostly butterflies, and there's some there's some little grasshoppers that we can get, the little hoppy creatures. Um, there's some we won't be able to get all the bugs though. Like for example, there's like an oaky butterfly 
that only unlocks in year two or later. So while you can collect most bugs your first year, there's always going to be like one from each category that's like an unlock year two or later. So don't try to complete it your first year. It won't work. Keep it in a cage. So many butterflies. Uh, we have to also watch our... Bag space, though, because... There's... there's limited space. Here we go, caught long-headed locusts. This is the first time you caught this insect. Let me just mark that off. Oh, these are found everywhere. Uh, they're year-round. Poppy creatures. Put it in a cage. And then we only have three pages, though, so we're probably gonna... Throw most of these bugs. Um, for sale. Just for... Just for space reasons. Purple Emperor's first time we got this insect. It's a gold one. It's in a gold box. Alright, just, just checking them off as I go along. Alright, and yeah, usually like the... the little crickets or locusts. They, like, you'll... They'll usually be flushed out when you run, like, by bushes and stuff. Very specific bushes. Alright, let's get on to the town. She got a honeycomb. And branches. Oops. Got a pale cloud yellow. If you're looking to befriend people, uh, the insects are pretty good at befriending a little boy named Kevin. He likes all these insects. This is also a shortcut to the town. Although I might double back the other way. Nymph butterflies keep it in a cage. And yeah, these bugs will respawn like at the hour. So you can catch a lot of them if you're like doing rounds around the town. Oh right, there was a flower right here as well that I found. Magic blue. If we're gonna do the flower festival, I would try to rack these up. Because uh, unlike Tale of Two Towns, you can't grow your own flowers. Uh, you can only forage for them. <laughs> so you can't, you can't cheese the festival that way. Oh, these butterflies are probably gonna get scared off. That's fine. I wasn't fast enough or coordinated enough. There's a lot of insects like per screen. Unlike Tale of Two Towns where there's like one of each color in each, like, map area. There's, like, multiple... <laughs> There's multiple locations here. Alright, so we have our house little log cabin here. I haven't seen you here before. Can I help you? Mm. Oh, you must be the new person I heard about. Me, I'm Lloyd. Good to meet you. Right, here's our ba bachelor. He has, he has a black heart. I you know I'm a little bit better. Probably later on, though, because... You know, gifts. This is a dead end here. Um, this won't really matter until summer of year two. That's our horse track. Uh, we have oh, Angelo right here. Oh, hello. You're new in town, aren't you? I'm Angelo. It's really nice to meet you. Sleepy. Oh, good morning. I'm always sleepy in the morning. I don't really wake up until noon. I have a windmill here. This doesn't unlock, though, until I think summer. Another thing here that you can jump up. Nothing up here, but sometimes you find shinies. Um, here's a place to fish. We don't have a fishing rod though. I think I could fish here if I had a fishing rod. Wait till summer, we'll get that. There's also a little area to the top left. Uh, I don't think I can jump there. What? There's usually a place where like war stone spawns in like the winter. <laughs> the river will freeze over, we'll be able to walk on it. Even a cage. It's really weird rock formation here. There's also a really neat looking waterfall. This is a strange power here, but nothing seems to be happening right now. Not possible to go in there until year two or later. Lots of stuff that's time gated in this game. <laughs> As you can probably tell by by how I'm talking. Niyama Swallowtail. That in a cage. I'm a butterfly. Got toy flowers, magic blues, moon drops, so many flowers. There's another girl. Uh, who are you? What do you want? Oh, I see. You must be that newcomer. I'm Antoinette. Nice to meet you. Huh. Oh, it's you. Good morning. Oh, 
Hello, it's Milan, right? I heard about you from my father, Felix. I'm Sherry, it's nice to meet you. Oh boy, we got the, the mayor's daughter. She's a cutie. <laughs> Look at all that hair, and also a funny hat. Uh, if you wanted to marry Sherry, if you're playing as a boy, you'd have to you'd have to befriend Felix too. You'd have Felix as a father-in-law. Oh boy. <laughs> Chamomile, hey. herb. This is this is categorized as an herb, so it's not a flower. You can't use it for the flower festival. Um, that door is locked. This is Antoinette and her father's house, though. So if we if we came earlier in the day, we'd be able to we'd be able to go in it. Uh, here's Raoul's shop. Open 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Let's let's those are some long hours. Close Fridays and bizarre days, though. Ooh. Hello, Raoul. Oh, you can buy items. He only sells uh, fertilizer and turnip seeds right now. Uh, let's sell some of our garbage. I, these are like worth pennies, but uh, since our bag space is so limited right now, like let's just sell it. I'm just gonna sell it all, and then we're just gonna use our money for for turnips. Thirty-five for magic glues. Also selling stuff because they do spoil after a while. Is meant to become a meal. Mm, I could save the honeycomb. Uh, you can crush the honeycomb into honey, which does increase how much money you can sell it for. But I mean, I'm. Just, I'm Let's just- let's be an early investor. Let's, uh, let's just try to get some turnip bags early on. Ding. I have so many books. I wish there was, like, a, a way where you could just, like, tap, 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 tap. And just... Sell multiple things at once instead of one at a time. All right, all gone. We'll keep that. We'll keep the fertilizer. All right. Did we introduce. We didn't technically introduce ourselves. We just went ahead and started buying from him. Oh, a customer. Ooh. You're Milan. I'm Raul. I remember you from Taylor Two Towns, but you first came from this game. So. <laughs> Technically, technically, uh, our first meeting? Yeah, I don't think he was in Island of Happiness. Or maybe he was in Sunshine Islands. I haven't played Sunshine Islands yet. Come to my shop for all your farming needs! I decorate it to look like an old-fashioned shop from my home country. I even dressed the part! You don't think I went overboard, did you? <laughs> just, just don't get too stereotypical. Good morning, how are you doing? You got lots of guitars and some posters and some... Cactus is also playing guitars. <laughs> oh, here's Dirk, my husband oh. from Taylor Two Towns. I don't know if I'll marry him this time. Uh, apparently, he's a little bit more mischievous in this game. He felt very normal. A very normal, calm personality in Taylor Two Towns. But in this one, he's he's a lot... He's a, he, I guess he's younger too. He's, he's a bit more mischievous. How are you, Milan? I heard about you. I'm Dirk. Nice to meet ya. He's not a mailman in this game. Although, his look does kind of look like a mailman. He reminded me of, like, the weird outfits, like, Annette would wear. <laughs> Morning, Milan. Man, I'm still kind of sleepy. Oh, well. This town is full of good people. <laughs> Everyone here is, like, part of my family. And we're here, we're family. Alright, we got Zephyr Cafe, open 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Also very long business hours, close Thursday and bizarre days. Uh, do we have... Well, you must be the new person in town. My name is Joanne. Come visit my cafe for a relaxing cup of tea. <laughs> ara, oh my, Ara, 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 indeed, Joanne. Hello, Milan, you're up early. And then we have her granddaughter. Hello, what's your name? Milan, I'm Marion. Nice to meet you. Good morning, Milan. Let's work hard today. She's also single, but she's not a candidate, unfortunately. 
even though she's very pretty. Uh, I think that's part of her backstory, though. Um, she was uh, left at the altar, so now she just lives for herself now. She's a, he, she's a strong, independent woman, just living with her grandmother and just going to work at her store now. Although I think her parents and grandmother do try to push her to relationships. Alright, and do we have stuff for sale? Use the menu. We got sauteed turnips, rice balls, uh, this... These do rotate. There's, there'll be other, other stuff that you can buy. Um, within the season. You also have season exclusive recipes. You can also see that one on the little menu thing it says like if you have the recipe or not. If I buy the saute turnip, um, Joanne will give me the recipe for the saute turnip uh, so I don't have to like cook it on my own. Uh, but yeah, we're not gonna like, we're not gonna waste our money on this yet. All right. Joanne. Yeah. Wan and Marion. Also, I should probably buy some seeds before the store closes. I might be back to sell more stuff, though. Yeah. Uh -huh. I will be back! Just keep looking around. Most people are probably playing around right now. Hi! Hey, who are you? Milan? Well, I guess you seem okay. I'm Cindy. I'm Lauren's twin. I'm older by here by two minutes. Hey, Milan. Good morning. Got Cindy, and then here's her twin sister. <laughs> I didn't have to think too hard with designing these these characters, <laughs> although they have two different personalities. So that that is that is neat. Oh, uh, hello. I'm Lauren, Cindy's sister. It's nice to meet you. Um, good morning. Uh, this is Freya's house, another bachelorette. She's off to work right now. If we came a little earlier, though, we could have probably caught her before she left. Oh, now the butterfly. Bye. Uh, this... Oh, the ladies are out. Uh, I think this is... Claire, Wilbur, and little boy Kevin's house. And then their neighbor is... Nellie, Isaac, and the two girls, Cindy and Lauren. Although, during the day, the wives are gossiping. Oh, hello, you're Milan? You look so young to be a farmer. I'm Claire, nice to meet you. The name of, of a different Harvest Moon protagonist. Good morning, Milan, you look well today. Oh, what should I make for dinner tonight? Sorry to coming up with something every day. That's what the wives talk about. Like how they both have the same, like, outfit. <laughs> the, little, the little head wrap. I haven't seen you before. You're running the farm. That sounds tough. I'm Nellie. Nice to meet you. Oh, Milan. Good morning. I do love to have a nice chat. She has, try to tell, Nellie has pink hair. The girls down by, in the plaza also had pink hair, so this is their mother, Nellie. I usually end up losing track of time. Alright, gossiping housewives. I put that in a box. Uh, we have the biggest house in the residential district. This is Felix's house. Oh, it looks like Wilbur's having a little meeting, a little powwow here. I haven't seen you around. Oh, I see. You're the new resident. I'm Wilbur. If you need something, just ask. Oh, good morning. You're off to work. Good morning, Milan. What a beautiful day. Of course, I say any day you feel healthy and strong is a beautiful day. You'll even say this on a stormy day. You'll probably try to fight the storm. You see, this house is built higher than anywhere else, so the mayor can watch over the entire town. All right, yeah, this is very, very big tall house. Got the kitchen here, kind of similar to our house format, but they have an upstairs. Uh, I think this is Sherry's room, very, very feminine, very feminine room. And then we got, we got manly, manly mayor office with a lovely portrait of Felix. <laughs> Okay, this is a giant portrait of himself. He just wakes up in the morning, stretches, and you're just like, yep, that's me. It's hyped up for the day. Ready to do mayor stuff. Hey, yeah. it's so weird that it's like he's buff too, because you think of like mayors, like, oh, they sit at their desk all day. 
It's like those, like, otome, like, manwas where... I want that butterfly, but I'm also gonna fall in the water if I do that. I just think of, like, those otomes where, like... The main love interest is, like, some prince who does, like, paperwork 12 hours a day and, like... Yet he's somehow the strongest. Like, that's... that's not how that works. <laughs> butterfly, bye. Alright. That's okay. Alright, this is... Second to last district. Uh, we have another windmill. The manufacturing windmill. Uh, this will be useful for upgrading our tools. I don't think that unlocks until, like, summer, though. Like, summer 20 or something. Uh, or 23rd, I think. Uh, but yeah, this- that will help you raise crops, but we're gonna do it the hard way at the beginning. Hello, little boy. Very angry boy. Who are you? What are you doing here? Oh, Milan, is it? I'm Kevin. If you wanna be my- you can be my sidekick if you want. <laughs> I know it's a major honor. You're welcome, Milan. Hey, Milan, you look bored. Oh, there you go. I thought you were maybe at work, but maybe you came home early. Hello, the name is Ivan. It's very nice to meet you. This is actually Dirk's older brother. <laughs> Good afternoon, Milan. <laughs> There's always such a relaxing breeze here. Alright, let's go grab these sellables. Precious resources. I got this man looking at the windmill here. So you're Milan. Hello, the name is Isaac. I look after the windmills in town. It's very nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, Milan. How are you? I am doing good today. Uh, this little little shack here. Kind of nice though. This <laughs> is it's like God it reminds me of one of my aunt's homes. It's like very very woodsy. Just like crawling with plants. The uh, Practically melding in the nature, but yeah, this is Angela's house. He'll usually be here early in the day, but right now he's wandering, looking for inspiration because he's a painter. Got some zigzag path here. This is the boarding course, but it's currently closed. We'll get a snowboard in, in the winter and then a skateboard uh, the month after that. After we acquire the snowboard. Um, that's just for funsies, a little mini game. Uh, but yeah, not really necessary. <laughs> White Swallow Hotel. Alright, finally we have the hotel. Open 6 to 11. Open every day! Unlock you out, right? right? We have another bachelorette here. Are you checking into the hotel? <laughs> no? Oh, I know, you're the new person in town. I'm Daisy, nice to meet you. You want to have a friend, Daisy? Um, if it's, if it's a dessert, she probably likes it. <laughs> Uh, she's, she has a lot of, lot of, she, she has a sweet tooth. It's kind of funny. I was making a guide for this game, making a gift guide of, like, possible items that I could buy at, like, food stalls, so I wouldn't have to, like, gather stuff myself. Um, and yeah, it's just, like, hers was, like, the biggest. It's, like, the whole dessert menu is one of her loved gifts. I think her favorite is strawberry pie, though, which we can get at, like, a specific season once we get the bazaar to a specific level. <laughs> oh, Milan, how's work going? Alright, you got these two people, these two designs here, we have... Oh, hello, I haven't seen you around here before. So you're running the farm, I'm Stuart, I run the hotel. It's good to meet you, I hope you enjoy your time here. Hi there, Milan. And then we have his wife here. Well, well, hello there. I'm Ethel, I run this hotel with my husband. You're always welcome here, dear. Good afternoon, Milan. You look well. Yeah, like I saw these characters, I'm just like, hmm, they kind of remind me of someone. Uh, they look like Rutger and Rose from Tale of Two Towns. So like, huh. Like, Stuart is just like a Rut- like, or maybe Rutger is based off Stuart. Uh, just with blonde hair. They just- they just aged him down a bit. And then Ethel looks, like, practically exactly like Rose. So maybe Rutger was actually supposed to be, like, older looking, but then they decided to age him down just, like, the last minute. Um, I, like, I always found it kind of weird, though, that, like, Rutger kind of looked like a middle-aged old, middle -aged old man, while, like, Rose looked like he could be his, like, grandma or his mom or grandma. Uh, 
Yeah, they didn't look like they were the same age, but yeah, they, they look very much based off these two characters. I was like, huh. Now we have some other rooms up here. Uh, some of them are unlocked, but no one's in here. Uh, there'll be an extra character that you unlock. He stays in this room. I don't think we unlock him, I want to say, till winter, so not going to worry about him yet. And yeah, no one else is really here. Some, I think during Bizarre Days, there's some, some like, nameless or, like, portraitless NPCs that hang out here. Can't really befriend them, though. All right, that's pretty much the whole town. We have the last area here, which is... The bazaar. Everything's covered up right now, though. Uh, there's nothing really to forage here, but uh, we will get to know this area on Saturday. Oh, when the bazaar is open, it's kind of neat to see it though. Like while it's not open, like everything's everything's all covered. <laughs> this is like a big area to only use once a week, though. I mean, we'll only start off with a few stalls as well. Um, as we meet the money goals, uh, more and more stalls will open up. And then here's the exit. We can't leave, though. We're trapped. We're trapped in this world forever. Hey, yeah. Alright. That's the town. I think there's still one more girl we have to meet. Uh, hey, yeah. hey. Freya? But we'll have to wait till she gets back from work. You can talk to her early in the morning, uh, but she does... Hey, yeah. She does book it out, out of this out of the town quite early. Uh, so maybe we'll just like go around and collect some stuff. Let's like eat out some more money. We also have to plant our turnips. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Give me that. Hey, hey. We'll have to plant our turnips, and then with the hey, remaining yeah. energy, I will probably hey, hop yeah. in the river though. Hey, yeah. No, the purple one. Sad. The bug catching. The bug catching is gonna get annoying. I'll be happy when I, like, get all the bugs. Purple Emperor. <sighs> Alright, probably didn't need to jump that high. Got a lot of repeats since we've already... No! Oh, I probably could have still caught it. <laughs> Anyway, ooh, that got dry again. Got to water it. Trying to do like exact number. <laughs> because whatever whatever is not seated, uh the tilled spaces will become untilled the next morning. Water, water, water. We'll probably get to use the bathroom, oh boy. Get our stamina back. Watering stuff. Oh boy, we get to water stuff one at a time. Uh, once we get the manufacturing windmill, though, uh, being able to- it'll cost you some money because you'll need, like, copper. Copper ore and, and other ores, which cost a pretty penny. Uh, but you'll be able to, like, jump and charge cast your watering can and just, like, fill up a much bigger area. This is the restroom. If you use it, you'll recover some of your stamina. However, some time will pass while you're inside. Not really. It's like a few seconds. Use the restroom. Yay, I get to poop at the beginning of the game. I don't have to wait till like, later years. Ah, feel better. And then we got the bath. If you take a bath, you'll recover some of your stamina. However, some time will pass while you're in the bath. Take a bath? Yes. I will take a bath. Not to be stinky. And that was a, that was a bigger chunk of stamina acquired. Ah, uh, that felt good. There's nothing like a nice warm bath. We get to use that once a day to just eke out some more stamina and just keep going for the day. Yeah. Mm. All right. I think the butterflies are probably sleeping right now. You might be able to find some locuses, but otherwise... Ooh, shiny thing. 
Uh, yeah, I don't. <laughs> Keep an eye out for the little gold sparklies. Uh, you see them more often on rainy days, but you can find coins and stuff. Uh, I will save the coin. I will not. I will not sell the coin. Alright, I will sell the branch though. I'm the branch manager. Feels kind of bad selling all these flowers because I know I can use these for the flower festival, but in my head I'm just like rationalizing. Like, we are not going to need the friendship boost our first year. Like, we're gonna ignore people for the most part. And yeah, befriending him now will just lead to degraded friendships later. It'll just take more time. 50 coins, poggies. I, I, I'll, sa I'll save it though. We will need this to play the lottery. Fun. And yeah, the lottery. <laughs> uh, the lottery does, like the grand prize is like the the very coveted magic water. The, that's like our power berry, the power berry of this game. Uh, although at that point, once we unlock the super lucky lotto, we probably don't even need the stamina anymore. But that's where we get it. I remember in Tale of Two Towns, the magic water was so annoying to get. I don't remember even getting one. <laughs> Uh, because it was an oracle request, and like, she never put up the request. Alright, money, money, money. Alright, my small chips is... All I can afford. Alright, bye bye, sir. Is... Is the last girl here yet? I know she's at the ca there she is. She goes to the cafe at like eight. I figured she was probably like on her way back right now. Oh, you're new. Did you just move here? I'm Freya, nice to meet you. Pretty lovely name. The, the name of the protagonist, the, the girl protagonist in Rune Factory 4. Also, I think, is it Norse? Is it a Norse god, Freya? <laughs> Na na named after, or Fry Freya Day was named after you. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today. Alright, I think that's everybody. Other than some later unlockable characters. That we'll meet at the bazaar slash later years. Okay, and now I will promptly ignore everyone. <laughs> That's everyone, and now everyone is going to be ignored. Uh, what I got? I got four more seeds. One, two, three, four. Probably be good. You should be ready by the time the bazaar hits. Uh, yeah, Friday. I can get some more seeds tomorrow. They should also be ready. Alright, all watered. I we still have some stamina. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw myself into the water. And it's a very low chance, but sometimes you'll get something caught in your clothes when you fall in the water. Uh, we got a stick. <laughs> it's a branch. Yeah, so we'll get like garbage like branches and cans. Uh, there'll also be some better items like ore stone, tea cans, um, or sea urchins that you can sell for like a little bit more money. Uh, what I'm really looking for is a gold ore, though. It's a very, very small chance. It's like 1.1% chance or something. And that will be worth 8,000 gold if I can sell it at the bazaar. You can also sell it to Raul for just like 5,000, but if we can sell it at the bazaar for 8,000, that'll, that'll get us a cow right off the bat. And can. So yeah, we can probably save scum this, but I'm just gonna leave it to luck. Um, Oh, also a small coin. It's also part of the, the price pool for falling in the water. <clears throat> Wait, I'm gonna hope to at least get one gold ore for a cow, and then if we can get an additional gold ore, that would actually fill up our whole field with turnips. Oh, sweet! We got gold! <laughs> okay, life is good. Life is... okay. Now if we can get one more, we will be looking pretty in the city. Uh, that was pure luck, though. Don't- don't expect to get that lucky. Uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting to get that luck, either. 
Got another small coin, which I will save. Ow. Can I maybe do one more before passing out? All right. Now, now, now we're at the the hair. The, the the hair of stamina left. I can probably pass out again, but I'll go to bed normally today. All right, that is our first. Our first day is done. Pretty much tutorial. Tutorial is done, and we met everybody. Um, but then tomorrow is going to be a lot of a lot of throwing myself into the water uh, until the bazaar <laughs> until the bazaar happens. So yeah, as long. The days should go by quick, theoretically, because if you're just focusing on your chores, like just the turnips, and then just throwing myself into the water until our stamina is depleted, and then just going to bed right after, the days will go by pretty quickly. We're only pretty much slowing ourselves down though for the sake of like collecting bugs for our collectibles. And yeah, just like getting a little bit more money to just buy more bags at the beginning. Uh, okay, so let's save and go to bed, uh, yeah, I'll save now, but otherwise, after this episode, I'm not gonna save. I, I, I will, like, save off screen, because I don't have any save states, like, I just get, you just get, you just go to bed and save. Uh, and I want to make sure the video isn't corrupted or anything. Alright, maybe we'll also take a look at our bookshelf unless we have a visitor. We have a visitor, then no. Alright. Game saved. Alright. Uh, I'll look at the bookshelf next time. But yeah, it is very small chance, but it might softlock your game. That was, that was like the only bad glitch I really found in this game. Is, is that softlocking bookshelf. Uh, Alright, so anywho. Yeah, that's our first day of tutorial. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a nice and relaxing time. And I will see you in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.